This watermelon fraction garland is a great activity to explore equivalent fractions and reducing fractions. First, print out the watermelon slices page. They're available in a variety of segments, indicated at the bottom of the page. Each page has three different slices. There are also some simpler versions included to help differentiate lessons. Pages can be printed in four different styles. The first is seedless. The second option has blank seeds. The third option shows the same seed combination on each slice. And the fourth option shows a variety of seed combinations on each slice. I'll walk you through how to use each of the four options. Option one, draw your own seeds. First, pick two shades of green. Next, color the rind to reveal a fraction. Indicate what fraction was created using the other side of the watermelon slice. There are boxes provided to show which fraction is represented by which color. For the bright green, it shows 5 fifteenths. For the dark green, 10 fifteenths. Then create a fraction using the seeds. Either a new fraction could be shown with the seeds, or students could draw an equivalent fraction to what the rind represents. If students are new to equivalent fractions, the teacher could instruct them to create a specific fraction on the rind that they know will be able to be reduced. I demonstrated one of each in this video. On the left, I created an equivalent fraction using the seeds, and I added an equal sign to show that they were equivalent. On the watermelon slice on the right side, I represented a separate fraction using the seeds, not equivalent to the fraction shown on the rind. Option two comes with blank seeds. Follow the same steps as you did for the first option. Pick your shades of green, color the rind, and then write the fraction that is represented. For the blank seed option, each slice has the same number of seeds as the slice with the greatest number of segments. For this example, in the video, each rind is split up into 5, 10, or 15 segments. Each watermelon slice has 15 seeds. This was designed so that seeds could easily be an equivalent fraction to what is represented on the rind. Here I have one-fifth for bright green, four-fifths for dark green. Then color the seeds to build an equivalent fraction. Three-fifteenths are black, and the remaining twelve-fifteenths are white. Next, students could try and make the same fraction on each of the slices, as I did in this video. If making the same fraction on each slice, Start with the watermelon that has the smallest number of sections on the rind. For this example, I started with the slice cut into five. This helps ensure that the equivalent fractions can be made as the watermelon becomes sliced into more segments. By looking at the rind and coloring the light green in the same place, it's easy to see visually that the light green sections take up the same amount of space, even though they're cut into more pieces. If following this version, each seed fraction would be the same in all three slices. Option three shows a variety of fractions on each of the slices. Start by counting the seeds and recording the seed fraction. Then build an equivalent fraction using the rind segments or build a different fraction using the rind, depending on the lesson objectives and ability. Color the rind to represent the fraction. Option four shows the same number of seeds on each of the three slices. Start by counting the seeds and recording the seed fraction. 
Next, find an equivalent fraction to represent on the Rhine segments. For this video example, I started with the section cut into the least number of pieces. However, some students will find it easier to start in the other direction. Next, color the rind. Again, if the rind is colored in the same spot on each slice, it is helpful in visualizing the equivalent fraction. To finish the garland, there are two great options. The first is to start by coloring all of the white seeds with a wax crayon. Next, use a watercolor wash over the top. Anywhere that the wax is present, the paint will roll off. The second option is to color the watermelon with pencil crowns or markers. For this example, I colored light pink close to the rind and then blended to a darker pink towards the middle of the watermelon slice. To assemble the fraction garland, start by separating each of the three slices. Cut roughly around each of the circles. Next, fold along the dotted line. Hold the page up to the light to ensure it's lined up properly before cutting it out. Next, cut around each of the three slices. Then cut a piece of string long enough to hold the three slices. Fold the string in half to find the middle. Open each slice, add glue to the inside, and then fold it around the string. Place the first piece in the middle of the string, and then place the subsequent two on either side. The watermelon slices can also be slid a little bit on the string to adjust their position. I hope this fraction craft sparks lots of great discussion about fractions in your classroom. Mm -hmm.